Hello and welcome to QCAD series of tutorials, Modification Tools Part 1. In this tutorial we'll see how to use modification tools such as Trim, Copy, Move and Rotate. For this tutorial I'm using GNU Linux Operating System Ubuntu version 10.04 LTS and QCAD Community Edition version 2.0.5.0. Now we'll see how to use trim and copy tools. We'll draw a simple shape as shown in this figure using this modification tools. Have the QCAD application open. If you want to know how to install QCAD in your system, please refer to earlier tutorial called as Introduction to QCAD. Let's go to application. I already have current preferences set and units to inches and grid to 0.5 by 0.5. We'll draw two rectangles. Go to line tool, rectangle, one of size size 50 by 50. So click on the grid. Grid is 0.5 by 0.5 so this rectangle is 50. Another rectangle, one grid inside it. Now to chamfer the corners, let's draw two circles. Go to circle tool, circle with center and radius. Let's give 15 for outer circle. You can use snap to intersection and outer circle, inner circle can be 20. Again same intersection point. Drawing is little small so go to view, auto zoom and adjust by rolling mouse wheel, middle mouse wheel. Okay, now I would like to trim this corner. So let's use trim command. Modify, trim, or you can go to edit, tools edit, and trim. When you click on trim command, you first need to select limiting entity. So select this edge first. Now I want the other part of the circle to be removed. So after that it will say select entity to trim but you have to select the area which you want to remain so I select inside and the outside which I want to go got trimmed again trim command select the limiting entity and the entity to trim let's use it for the this circle this is the outer edge and outer edge circle now that we have trimmed it, we just want to remove this corner, go to trim again and this is my limiting entity and these two are the areas which should be trimmed. Same thing for the inside one. Now there is bevel or chamfer command, click here, it gives you chamfer length let's say 5 and I want to trim it so I just have to clear select first entity, second entity and the chamfer is done similarly if I select round it will create the round of that radius let's say 10 and I want to trim it so first entity, second and trim portion is done similarly for inside one I can have it 5 Now there are two more trim commands, one is trim and extend, if I click on it, what it does is, if I click on two entities, it will extend those till the point meets. So I select first, select second and it will extend that part. And another one is trim by amount. If I give amount in positive values, it will increase by that much and if I give it in negative values, say I am giving minus 10 and click on the entity, it will cut it by that much amount. So this is how we use trim commands. For copy, we need to select entire object. Let's say I want to copy it. Go to modify, move and copy is the command we need to use. After selecting it, we need to specify snap point. Let's say intersection of this and then specify target point. 
I again go back snap to grid and let's say I want to have it snap it here and I want multiple copies or if I want to delete original I have many options let's say I want multiple copies so it has copied three items here to deselect I press control key we will now see how to use move and rotate tools for this we will draw an octagon using 0.5 by 5 inch metal bar as shown in this figure let's go to application to draw this octagon first we will draw first part which is a rectangle of 0.5 by 5 inches go to line tool line with two points now I'm going to use command line here and I will use relative polar method you can use any method you want to to draw this which is shown in earlier tutorial so let's draw first point at 5 comma 10 second point will be 5 inches at angle 0 third point will be point 0.5 at angle 90 then again 5 at angle 180 and C to close it increase the drawing using mouse wheel now I need to draw a trapezoidal portion which is at the 45 degree angle I'll first draw it below this and then move it back so draw a point slightly below the original one so 5 comma 5 next point will be at now this side is little shorter than 5 so I'm taking 4 angle 0 then a trapezoidal or the, the angular part which is at 0.53 then angle at the rate 3.25 the top side will be little shorter at 180 and then C to close it again so two parts are drawn now I need to copy this so what I'll do is I'll click left click once extend hold left button and select entire area and now I'll use modify move and rotate selection is done so click on this arrow from snapping option I'll use intersection so let's use this bottom point as a first reference point and I want to move it back up here but this angle is 45 so let me select angle as 45 enter and again the point of intersection is end of this I want to delete original yes the part is there now we need four part like this as shown here so I'll copy this use modify move and copy selection at this point I again go back for the target point snap to grid let's see here and I want three copies ok so three copies are done one below the other now one by one we'll move each at an angle control K to deselect now let's use move and rotate tool to place this copied objects one by one to make an octagon we'll select first part left click hold select and go to modify move and rotate selection is done from the snap option let's check snap at intersection and use this point now I want to move it back up here angle is 90 this time 90 enter and again intersection is here I want to delete original part is back there let's move the second part same way copy move and rotate snap at intersection and angle will be 180 it's horizontal on top delete original now let's move the last part 45 move and rotate intersection back here again change angle to 70 270 and the octagon is ready this is how we use move rotate and copy commands to get the repetitive shapes in the drawing let's come to the assignment part I would like you to draw a following figure using the modification tools taught in this tutorial 
The central table is of 16 inch radius. Each chair is 22 by 20 inches. I would like to acknowledge Spoken Tutorial Project, which is part of Talk to Teacher Project, supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. For more information about this initiative, please visit following website. Thank you. Enjoy exploring QK.